2012 hurricane season is here. Are you prepared? Hello, I am Missouri County Judge Joe King. It is important that the residents of Missouri County be prepared for whatever this hurricane season has in store for us. I want to start by saying every Missouri County household should have received their 2012 Hurricane Preparedness Guide. This guide will provide you with information on how to be prepared if we are threatened with a hurricane this year. Keep this guide in a place where you can find it and use it if needed. Our first responders work hard to keep our citizens safe, but it is up to the individual and family to know how to protect themselves and their property. You can do this by being prepared. First, all households should have an emergency supply kit ready to go. If you will look in the preparedness guide, it will give you a checklist of supplies to have in that kit. A first aid kit, important papers, tools, food items, and a water supply for you and your family members are just a few of the items that need to be in your kit. Don't forget about your animals. You will need to provide an emergency kit with food and water and necessary supplies for your pet. Don't forget you will need to have their vaccination records as well. Is your home secure? Do you know how to board your windows? Did you know you need to remove all items in your yard that could become a flying projectile. These items can and will damage your home. Cut tree limbs that hang over your roof that could fall during high winds and cause damage to your home. It is important to turn off your gas appliances at the wall and turn off all appliances, including your AC unit. It is also a good idea to turn your breaker box off due to possible surges of the electricity that can damage your appliances. Clean out your refrigerator and freezer the best that you can. Be prepared if electricity is off for any length of time, your food could possibly spoil. Now that we have covered your emergency supply kit and preparing your home, let's talk about evacuation. Evacuating. A mandatory evacuation is only issued if we are in the path of a major storm. If a mandatory evacuation is issued, please understand that resident safety is a main concern and is not taken lightly. As a county judge, it is my job and responsibility to, to protect the citizens of Missouri County and a mandatory evacuation is discussed with Missouri County Emergency Managers, the National Weather Service, major county employees, the county schools districts, and the state representative before it is issued. I understand that many people do not have the resources to leave the county on their own. If you need a ride out of the county during a mandatory evacuation or know of someone that might, there is help available. In your guide, there is information about hubs that will be located at the Missouri County Fairgrounds and the old Glenda Dawson High School in Pearland. Get to the hubs and catch a ride to the Belton Exposition Center. The city of Belton has provided residents of Missouri County a place to go, a shelter. They will provide a place to sleep, food to eat, and provide information and updates about your area. Don't wait until there is a storm headed our way. Get registered in advance. For more information on 211, Take a look at your 2012 guide to know what you can take on the bus and what you cannot take. Remember, pets can be taken to Belton with you. They will need to be in a crate, have current shot records, food and water for the trip, and while at the shelter. If you are self-evacuating but have no place to stay, you can shelter in Belton as well. On the other hand, if you choose not to evacuate as recommended or mandated, Keep in mind there will not be any services available. There will be no one to come and get you until after the storm. That is, the first responders can get to you. There will be no ambulance service, no hospitals, and no services available. No stores will be open, and most areas will have a curfew for those that came back to the area too soon or who never left. If you stay or come back before it is recommended by local authorities, you will more than likely have no water, 
no sewer, and nowhere to buy food or get supplies. It is better to stay where you are until it is recommended to come back into your area of the county. Being prepared is the best way to keep you and your family members safe. An emergency supply kit, preparing your home, and having a plan to get out of town are some of the great steps toward being prepared. Our first responders work hard to keep our citizens safe, but it is up to the individual and families to know how to protect themselves and their property. Being prepared is the key to your safety and the safety of your family. If you have any questions or need assistance with what to do in an emergency situation, contact your local emergency manager's office and they will be able to assist you. All city and county emergency managers names and phone numbers are listed in the back of the your 2012 Hurricane Preparedness Guide. Thank you and stay safe.